All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all honor, all praises, all glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Sai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, who the Word only calls God, Yahweh Sai, the only begotten Son, who the Word only calls Jesus Christ. I would like to say the water, well, thank you to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Sai, for the Rakakwadash. The Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind these lessons. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and rule well. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the Akim around the world. Preaching and teaching this word and truth and in sincere to Shalom to the whole for elect. All right, it's so all your call in a minute about South Carolina camp coming back with a lesson. And just want to go on to how um, uh, World War III uh, article, man. World War III news, man. Okay, because it's constantly uh, moves being made to usher in uh, Armageddon. Okay. And that's what ultimately everything is going to boil down to. When all these nations, all right, are fighting each other, then they're going to turn and try to fight the angels of the Lord and fail miserably. But nonetheless, though, I want to get into an article about Iran sending a, a couple hundred of drones to Russia, all right, because they are allies, and these allies are going to come up against what? Babylon the Great, okay? So I just want to read a little bit of this and bring out some precepts. I don't want to eyes edifying. It says, um, Iran sending a couple of hundred high-tech drones to Russia. It says the deal between Russia and Iran is real and serious. Yeah, because it's prophesied in the scriptures that Russia and Iran, all right, are allies and going to team up, okay, to fight against who? Babylon the Great. All right, and we're going to get those precepts in a minute. So all of this is prophesied in the scriptures. That's how we know this Bible is what? Faithful and true. All right. It said the deal between Russia and Iran is real and serious. As Tehran prepares to supply Moscow with hundreds of drones, including some that are weapons capable, says former U.S. Army Chief of Staff General Jack King. Iran is very high tech when it comes to drone technology. They have been at this for years. General uh, Keane told Sky News host, it says this will help the Russians. It's not going to decide like, like it to decisive in terms of enable Russia to win the war, but certainly it's going to benefit them quite a bit. All right. And why is Iran helping uh, Russia? Because it's prophesied. All right. <clears throat> These two are uh, allies, man. Okay, this is Ezekiel chapter 38, and I start at the top. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against God, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. All right, and God, God the land of Magog represents uh, Russia. That land is modern day Russia. Okay, it says, And say this, this say Yahweh power. Behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. So this is the heavenly father what prophesying against Russia, right? So they're telling Russia, okay, what they are about to do, what's going to go on with them. Verse four says, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy charge and will bring thee forth and all thine army, ho horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. All right. And it's going to tell who is about to be with Russia. It says Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. These are the countries that is going to be uh, allied to Russia. Okay. And Persia is modern day what? I Iran. Okay. This is how we know this is uh, the prophecies coming to pass in the scriptures. All right. It says Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Gomer and all of his bands, the house of togomar of the north quarters and all his bands and many people with thee all right it says be thou prepared and prepare for thyself thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee and be thou a guard unto them all right so they're telling these armies to get ready to go to war all right russia and his allies to get ready to go to war but who babylon the great and their allies all right it's Revelation 11 and 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. That's how we know what's going on, man. We know this third woe is uh, on, the, on the brink. 
Okay, we see articles like this and we line it up with the prophecies in the scriptures. Jeremiah 50 and 14, put yourselves in array against Babylon round about all ye that bend the bow. Shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she had sinned against the Lord. Okay, and this is the Heavenly Father telling every nation that has uh, the bow, okay, to shoot at her. Who is that hurt? Babylon the Great. So all these nations have nuclear capability and are ultimately going to shoot fire on Babylon the Great. All right, all you that bend the bow, shoot at her. So whoever got nuclear capability, shoot at her. All right, and this, um, about to get what that bow represents, that's the arrows. Okay, the bow, the arrows, and these are the... Okay, the uh, <clears throat> the thermonuclear missiles. The second Ezra 16 and 13. For strong is his right hand that bended the bow. His arrows that he shoots are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. This is how we notice is talk about those ICBM missiles. Because they shoot from one end of the earth to another. All right. Um, from one continent to another. Okay. That's how we know these bows represent those those missiles okay and that's uh coming soon man this world war three so we see articles like this we put it together with the scriptures and line it up and know that we almost out of here and this thing is coming to pass okay so call her lawyer how about shimmy all right for these prophecies coming to pass and baba kasha give us grace and mercy and safety because we about to be in those times all right i don't want to rise to die that was edifying shalom